Hi there, my name is Benjamin Biggs and I'm a PhD student at the University of Cambridge. I'm delighted to deliver this spotlight presentation for our paper 3D Multibodies, which deals with fitting sets of plausible 3D human models to ambiguous image data. This work was completed during my internship at Facebook AI Research in London. In this work, we focus on the task of reconstructing 3D human meshes in ambiguous scenarios. This video shows a failure case of the popular HMR network in one such situation, when the basketball player's body becomes obscured by the bulletin board at the bottom of the frame. Of course, instances of occlusion are common in natural human datasets. In these cases, there is often too much ambiguity to produce a single unique solution. So in this work, we focus instead on obtaining a set of plausible and diverse 3D reconstructions that are consistent with the input image. Of course, we can find a theoretical motivation for our task of multi-hypothesis human mesh reconstruction. In this figure, we can see a set of plausible 3D skeletons around the outside and their perspective projection onto a 2D image plane in the center. Notice that despite the 3D figures being very diverse, the 2D reprojections are very similar. This example demonstrates the fundamental ambiguity associated with deriving 3D reconstructions from 2D scenes. Clearly, if we were to train a single hypothesis 3D reconstruction network that sees only this 2D information, it is not clear which of the solutions it should produce. To further investigate this phenomenon, we have taken a state-of-the-art single hypothesis 3D reconstruction network, fine-tuned it, and tested it on a range of ambiguous examples, which we construct synthetically. We can observe an interesting characteristic among the test time predictions. The network tends to predict the human body parts which are occluded from view in the input image in their mean position over the training set. For example, notice that the legs are missing from the input image shown on the left, and the network predicts them to be directly underneath the body, which is the average position. This behaviour is somewhat expected, as predicting the mean over multiple hypotheses will minimise the L2 reconstruction loss. Of course, as we know, it is not necessarily the case that averaging over multiple hypotheses will result in a good or even acceptable prediction. Imagine, for example, deciding whether to travel left or right to avoid an upcoming lake. Averaging over these two hypotheses will lead you to travel straight forward, straight into the lake, which is definitely suboptimal. This therefore provides the key motivation for our task of multi-hypothesis human mesh recovery, for which we provide the first deep learning framework. We also propose several technical contributions which are related to improving the so-called min of M training scheme. We first introduce a quantization method, which improves the flexibility of such schemes by allowing us to produce an arbitrary number of hypotheses at test time without the need to retrain. We also weight the quantization scheme with a 3D pose prior, trained using normalizing flows, which is adept at filtering out poor quality or dead hypotheses. And finally, we introduce a hypothesis reprojection loss, which is designed to discourage modes dying off in the first place, an effect that occurs due to the sparse gradients backpropagated by mid of M style models, particularly when M is large. This loss is applied to all hypotheses and forces them to remain consistent with the image evidence. In this section, I will describe the method that we use for tackling the problem, starting with our deep neural network architecture. We begin by encoding our ambiguous input image to generate M collections of human body model parameters. In this case, we use SMPL, which is a parametric model of human meshes. Each set of SMPL parameters then determines a 3D human mesh. We then follow a min of M training strategy and select the hypothesis closest to the ground truth and backpropagate error only through this prediction. By training in this manner on ambiguous images, the network naturally learns to predict a diverse set of plausible hypotheses. However, one drawback with the min of M strategy is that the number of output hypotheses is fixed after training. To overcome this, we train a single min of M model with a large value of M and introduce a novel quantization scheme that acts at test time and can select subsets of an arbitrary size. The input to our quantizer is a set of M 3D human hypotheses which were produced by the min of M network described previously. 
The quantizer's task is then to select an n size subset of the hypothesis that covers the space of the original n as well as possible. We also achieve better results by incorporating the likelihood of each 3D pose, which allows the quantizer to filter out poor quality predictions. We implement our quantizer using a weighted clustering of the M reconstruction hypotheses, where the weights are supplied according to a 3D pose prior, which we learn using normalizing flows. A normalizing flow is a bijective neural network which maps a complex distribution, such as the space of 3D poses, which we represent as SMPL skeletons, to a simpler distribution. In this case, we use a multivariate Gaussian. The prior is trained by plugging in our 3D pose vectors and maximizing the log likelihood in the Gaussian space. We are then able to express the likelihood of any new 3D pose. In addition, we can visually check the quality of our pose prior while also demonstrating the bijective nature of the mapping by sampling points from the Gaussian space, passing them through the inverse flow function and generating novel 3D poses which we can inspect. Our final contribution is to overcome a common challenge related to training min of m models with large values of m. In this case, the backpropagated gradient is very sparse and we observe that some modes die off and are never used to represent the best hypothesis. We can discourage mode degeneration by applying a 2D reprojection loss across all hypotheses, which helps ensure that the predictions remain consistent with the input image. We'll next move on to our evaluation. We test on two common 3D body capture datasets and two ambiguous versions of these datasets in which we have applied synthetic crops. Firstly, we compare our performance on the single hypothesis problem. Here, we show the 3D joint error in millimeters between the predicted 3D SMPL mesh and the ground truth mesh. Despite not being specifically optimized for the single hypothesis problem, we show a small improvement over the state-of-the-art spin network. We also evaluate our method against two competitive multi-hypothesis baselines across different output set sizes. The evaluation procedure used here is to allow each method to produce a set of n hypotheses and the error is reported for the best prediction. As expected then, the error decreases as the number of hypotheses increases. For our method, we train the multi-hypothesis network with m equals 100 and apply the quantizer to generate these smaller n-sized sets. The charts on this slide show results on 3DPW, a dataset that we do not use for training. You can see that across all the subset sizes, our method outperforms the competitors, and the improvement becomes more pronounced as the number of hypotheses increases. Finally, we conduct an ablation study to justify our design choices. The result from our method is shown on the right-hand side of each grouping. The middle bar shows the effect of retraining the network with the hypothesis reprojection loss omitted. And the left-hand side shows the results of additionally removing the normalizing flow weighting, which we use in our quantization scheme. The results here indicate that removing each component significantly decreases the performance, which validates our design choices. For qualitative results, we show the input image, three network hypotheses in red, the best hypothesis in blue, and the ground truth in green. We first show results on our ambiguous version of human 36M. And also results on 3DPW, a dataset that we do not use for training. In summary, we have presented our novel deep learning framework for multi-hypothesis human mesh recovery. We've made a number of improvements to min of M style architectures, including our quantization scheme, which allows models to produce an arbitrary number of output hypotheses without the need for retraining, a 3D pose prior based on normalizing flows, which is used to filter bad hypotheses, and a hypothesis reprojection loss, which avoids mode degeneration. We've also shown state-of-the-art results on multi and single hypotheses metrics across multiple datasets. Many thanks, and please do visit our online project page. Thanks.